folks, welcome back to the channel again, nice to see you. So, today's video we're going to go and have a look at some fish. Uh, if you've been following along, you know it was my birthday a couple of weeks back. Saved up my pennies and now we're going to go and have a look, see at what we can get. I'm going to go and visit my friend Tim who runs Corbin Discus. Uh, I'm extremely lucky to have a, a very local discus specialist, so we're going to go and have a look and see what he's got. I'm not necessarily going to buy something today, but I'm looking at either just getting another one or two discus for the main display tank or maybe getting a pair if he's got something going but mostly just going to have a wee snoop around see what's going and see what's there and see what I can afford more than anything else so let's get the poly box in the back of the car and we'll get on our way And we're back, so I've got my box of goodies here. Uh, we're going to put them in this tank. Got my usual procedure, I've got the lights off. I'm going to do the plop and drop method. Uh, well, I might not actually, because there's nothing else in this tank now, so I can just empty the bag straight out into there. I know the water's the same because I've used this place many, many times. Uh, I've always done this without any issues whatsoever, so we'll get these fish in here now. And then maybe we'll come back tomorrow and you can see what we've got, hopefully when they've settled in a little bit. And there we are, all, all in, all fairly happy looking. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to leave them in there for the evening. Look at that, they're not scared at all, they're straight up to the front. I'll leave them there for the evening, we'll come back tomorrow, we'll get the lights on and have a look at them properly. So, there they are, I went in and put the lights on about half an hour ago. Get them used to it, but let's see how they react when I go up to the tank. Really not shy at all, are they? But so beautiful. So what have we got? What have we got? We've got oh God. When it comes to the names of these fish, I always think they're a bit ridiculous. The same strain is called five different things depending on which breeder you get it from. 
Um, but so this one here is a brilliant. Um, that one it will change over time so much. So I've seen the adult ones of these, and they really are quite stunning at the moment. It just looks like a regular fish, really. But as it grows, it gets brighter and brighter. This one next to him here, this guy. This is a heckle turk, which is a heckle discus crossed with a turk. So the heckles, obviously, the big vertical bar that you can see there, and then obviously the turk markings as well. I just thought that was a really interesting fish, so I had to get him. And then we've got a silver tiger, I think that one's called. And then your brilliant blue or royal blue or king blue, I can never remember what they're called either. I'm not a great one for names of discus, as you can tell, probably. I just think they're awesome fish. So let's give them a little something, see if they'll have a wee bit to eat. I've got some frozen brine shrimp up here. Oh, now they're going shy. There we go, I'm sensing it now. Breakfast is served, guys. So they're obviously still getting used to it. They've only been in the tank less than 12 hours, probably. It's expected that they'll be a little bit shy. But I'm really happy at how um, confident they seem straight away. I've only come into the, the fish room a couple of times since they've been in here, but they've been straight up to the tank. Uh, straight up to the front glass, rather. Which is a really good sign. Uh, you two are going to miss out if you don't... Yeah, there you go. Some of it's floating over to them now. But we'll leave you with this just now. Um, I'll film this for a bit longer. But as always, click on that subscribe button. You can follow along with the progress. Mm -hmm. I'll leave them in here for a bit. I like to do a bit of quarantine, even though I probably don't really need to with these guys. Because the, these are the same Martin Ng fish that I've already got upstairs. Um, but yeah, I like to monitor them for a, a little while before I put them in with the display tank. I'm moving things around upstairs a little bit as well. I might move on a couple of fish from there. But yeah, really happy with these. So, as always, click that subscribe button. Give me a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Which is your favourite out of these four? At the moment, mine is this heckle turk, just because I think it's really interesting looking. Um, this silver tiger over here, he's quite awesome as well. In fact, they all are. That's a, a stupid thing to ask. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And we'll catch you in the next one.